Yeah, let's do a little over under. Woo! All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus. We're going to do some over-under for this Vikings-Jets heated battle we got coming up. Underwear. Underwear. That it? All right. Underwear. That was it. That was my joke. Yes, That's definitely over-under when it comes to the Vikings-Jets. And, uh, yeah, just going to drop you know, drop some lines. See the Vikings going to be over-under that. The Jets going to be over-under that. You know, get a little more talk about this game going before we do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the vids. We are closing in on 8,300 subscribers. I cannot wait to hit that and get even higher. Keep climbing up that ladder. Uh, as always, in the comments, let, let us see if you're over. You're over under. Um, would love to see that uh, so much. So let's do this. Jets, Vikings. going to be a great matchup. We know the Jets got that beautiful, hard-nosed defense, which I'm scared about. But over under... Sauce Gardner having three pass breakups. <sighs> you know, I, I don't know what he's averaging. Uh, just I know he's been playing damn good this year. The Vikings do like to throw the ball. They also like to throw some these short passes that aren't always, you know, like to the tight end, Johnny Munt. They just don't have a lot of chance of success. I think Sauce Gardner could break up at least three of those. I'm going to take the over on this one. I'm taking under. They're staying away from him. They're not throwing anywhere near Sauce Gardner. Even if Justin Jefferson's on him. Screw it. Going to Thielen. Going to Hawkinson. Under. Way under. Wow. wow. Uh, all right, let's stick with uh, let's go with the Jets. Jets uh, been ripping shit up. Will they have? Well, the line is three sacks. Over under three yep. sacks that defense. Why don't you start this one off? I think they'll probably have three sacks and maybe in the first freaking quarter. I mean, uh, Williams is a monster. Uh, our interior offensive line. Ed Ingram is going to give up three sacks alone probably. So absolutely over. Over. Yeah, I think it's going to be over, too. You look at Blake Brandel, good game against the Bills, comes in against the Cowboys, lays a huge egg, uh, good game against the Patriots. He's going to go back to having a bad game. I don't know, and I don't know if that's even a fair thing to judge it on, but I feel like this Lions coming off a good game. I'm hoping they're up to the challenge again, up to the task, but I feel like they're going to give up at least three sacks, and I think it's going to be more. Yeah, they made some great adjustments with Blake Brandel. That's why he had such a good game, and I, I think they're going to continue with that. I'm just more Ed Ingram is the scary part. Williams against Ed Ingram, are you kidding me? Nope. And let's not forget, Garrett Bradbury still can get plowed over. Ooh, lucky. All right. Uh, speaking of Ed Ingram, will he have more over under two penalties? Yeah, yeah, he's going to. And, you know, and, and this is what you just said. Quinn Williams is going to overpower him. He's going to overwhelm him. He's going to be grabbing. He's going to be holding. He's going to do whatever he can to keep him off Kirk Cousins. So, yes, I think Ed Ingram might even have five penalties. Yeah, over, easy. Uh Kirk Cousins throws for 250. The Jets have been holding uh, opponents under 200 yards in the air. Will Kirk Cousins blow that out of the water with 250? This, this is yours. Uh, under. Done. Next. Yeah, I'm going to go under, but I don't think it's by much. I think he gets around that 228, somewhere in the 230s, a couple touchdowns, maybe a pick. Not a great game, but a, an efficient game for Kirk Cousins. I think they're going to be all about the run. And uh, if they get up even a little bit, they're just, I mean, there's no reason to pass the ball against this defense. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, JJ, you'll throw the ball. Speaking of passing yards, will Justin Jefferson have over 100 yards, over under 100 yards receiving against that sauce, that stickler? Well, they'll move them over, so it's not going to be a straight one-on-one -on -one matchup. Did you do the last one or did I? I cannot Go remember. I think he's gonna get under, but I'm gonna. I think he still gets like eighty something. Yeah, I got him at. I got him at about eighty yards. Uh, over under. You saying Ed Donatil should be fired three times during this game? God, God I hope not. You know, I, but the last two games, hell, that you can go back to the Bills game too. There's reasons that you think you know that you're definitely gonna say that. I want to say they come back and have a good performance, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing Ed Don until she'll be fired over three times. Wow. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely going with the under on that one just because, I don't know, I'll probably be saying much worse other things um, that have to do with that, but not those exact words. Greg Joseph misses two kicks. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> under, under for me. Greg Joseph is going to be, uh, he's going to be on fire. He's going to be so hot. He's gonna have a game of his life. I'm gonna take that line. I think you I think he misses two kicks, an extra point and a field goal. 
he doesn't miss field goals and they're not going to kick over 50 anymore. So he's, he's good. He's good. All right. Dalvin cook goes for over hundred yards. Again, the jets giving up 112 on the yard on the ground. A game. I'm going to go under. You look at Delvin Cook this season. He's gone over 100 yards twice. Once was because he had an 81-yard run in Buffalo. Yes. Good defense. Yes. I don't see Delvin Cook going over 100 in this one, so I'm going to take the under. I'm going over just for the fact I think they are going to run the ball more than they have ever this entire season. And uh, Delvin is going to get over the 100. I hope so. I hope he does. All right, two more. What, one and a half sacks for Zedaria Smith. Mike White. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna go under. I don't like it, but I think I, I just I don't know. I'm gonna go the under. I'm going over. Zedarius is gonna get two. Final final one. You'll say what a punt at two times. <laughs> is that what we say when he has a good punt? Wow, what a punt. Look at that. What punt. a punt. Uh yeah, I'm taking way over on that. Yeah, I think we're gonna punt. Under. And I think he's going to boot the share of that ball. Ryan White, I think we may say it five times. What a punt. We might not even punt. I still take it. I'm still taking the over. We love Ryan Wright more than anything in the world. And uh, over, over, over. That's it. Let us know. Comments. You're over, under. And if you got an over, under, throw it down there. We'd love to answer them. Yeah. Send some pictures of your, of your overhang as well. And remember this. You can't say happiness without saying penis.